Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. I know it's been a while, but I actually have an excuse, all right? All right, hear me out, hear me out. So I went to Mexico about two weeks ago, and ever since I got back, I've been really sick. Um, being a man, usually, you know, I'm not built to actually be sick, so I haven't been doing much. I've just been at home depressed, moping around, just kind of, you know, feeling sorry for myself. Usually when that happens, I go on YouTube a lot. And I just watch a whole bunch of content to make me feel better. Which brings me to two videos that I want to share with you guys today. I was watching Casey Neistat's latest video. It's something about like, um, the title was something about not getting any. Um, I'll put the link in the description. But it was essentially referring to like, it was just saying that people my age are not having sex because we have so much more things we could be doing. I guess we have more options. And it was saying that like we re we rather stream videos or uh, play video games or you know basically just be on our phone instead of going out to meet new people, which I kind of understand and I relate. And then I started watching this new show on the same subject by Wong Fu Production. It's called Dating After College. There's only one episode, and you know I thought why not react to it since I actually enjoyed it and it was uh, it was relatable, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, without further ado, this is my first reaction video. College is the reward for surviving high school. I read that on Pinterest, but I found that to be mostly true. That's a lie. It's so true. Well, if you factor out student debt and the declining value of a bachelor's degree, then it's a hell of a reward. High school is where puberty sprouts its awkward head, but college is where you fully blossom. It's the land of opportunity. Opportunity for countless interaction. Think about it. Tens of thousands of people your age concentrated in one tiny campus. You're constantly surrounded by people with different backgrounds. People with similar interests. There's opportunity to make lifelong friends. And to make lasting memories. Opportunity to date. And to fall in love. I guess people were looking for love in college. Personally, I can't relate. Um, I didn't want to go to school. I I kind of went because my parents were immigrants and I had no choice. So in college, I was just I was just focused on school, like trying to finish this as early as possible so I could get the fuck out of there. So can't relate. But none of this compares to the opportunity for more. More in the real world. Postgrad. The land of more independence, more money, more people, more love. And I couldn't have been more wrong. I agree. It's the exact opposite have less money because it's all going to FICA. OSAP. It's all going to OSAP. You're giving all my money to OSAP. Less independence because you move back in with your parents. Less friends because they moved back to their hometowns. And less interaction in general. You know I talked to 2.5 people today, none my age, and all of them had kids. One of them being me! So it kind of sucks when your coworkers talk to you about their kids, um, their wives, or their divorce. And you're just there like, yes, absolutely, don't care. And none of this helps my completely non-existent love life. Ugh, why didn't anybody warn me that post sucks? sucks. Why, why didn't I take, take advantage, advantage of college? Of college? What did you expect? You went from living in a place that had floor after floor of friends and females ready to mingle to living in a place that has less than 10 people your age within a five mile radius, all of whom went to high school with you, who still remember you as a kid who shit his pants in band. Hey. I don't go to Chipotle anymore. Okay, nobody talks shit about Chipotle. It's actually my favorite place to go to, so fuck off. But I do agree that it makes you sick after. Still go. God, I'm so glad I didn't go to college and get my expectations effed up. Mm, I'm so glad I met Jacob in college. Dating after college sounds dreadful. So, not to bum anybody out, but when my grandma was alive, we used to go back and forth on the phone all the time because she's also very, um, very traditional very traditional Haitian woman. And she used to always be like, she used to just, every time she called me, she'd be like, okay, you're done school, you need to be married, you need to find a wife, and you need to be married, and you need to have kids. And I'm like, yo, I'm like, trying to tell this like 85 year old Haitian woman that like, listen, it's not like, it's not like, it's not like what you think. Like, it's not like back in the days where like, you'd meet your, uh, your spouse, whatever, in school or after school in the workplace, and then you guys like run off, like, this like social media has fucked things up like so much like you can't really have someone's attention nowadays 
like people are too worried about like their likes and their, how they how they appear online so it's very hard to like have someone's undivided attention like and people don't leave the house i don't leave the house you know anyways she didn't get it but they wong fu wong fu gets it yeah i'm really happy for you too you know if you're having trouble dating maybe you should try tinder maybe you should try grinder Tinder was good in like 2012, like when it first started, I think people actually took it seriously. People were actually meeting up and, you know, I guess using Tinder, but like, if you're using Tinder nowadays, you do know like it's like an ego match, right? It's not like, people are not really there to talk. They just want to see if they can match with that person. Then it's kind of like, oh, yeah, I guess I'm cute, but, you know. I want more than just hookups. Maddie, there's so much more to online dating than just casual sex these days. I guess it couldn't hurt to start a profile. Don't worry, I already did. All you need is a phone number or a Facebook account. It takes like two seconds. Whoa, she's cute. Yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe she thinks you're cute. <laughs> oh, she's a bot. My boy Cameron got his first bot. Yo, the bot life is hard, man. Again, like early 2000, like 2012, when, when like bots weren't really around, it was easy to spot them, like, you know, it was very obvious. She was, like, super sexy. She was from, like, Europe somewhere, from Venezuela. And then, like, you know, you'll talk to her and within, like, the first second, they'll be like, hey, join my chat room. And you're like, fuck. But nowadays, like, nowadays, they're smart, okay? They have, like, bios and, like, they actually look like real girls. So, the bot life is a little hard online. But, dude, trust me, there's a ton of real cute girls in her, right? Don't worry. You'll be matching with quality guys in no time. Okay. You just gotta weed out the mismatches. How many mismatches? Well... That's it, that's the bot. She said his name, hey Cameron, this app sucks. Why don't you join me in my chat room? Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. That guy, that guy's a fuckboy. That guy's a fuckboy for sure. I don't really like the term fuckboy, but <laughs> that was a fuckboy move right there. <laughs> He's your friend and your photo single. My boy's really going through it. Like, this girl asked him to send her $20. And this other girl, that, that's a fuck girl right there. She's like, not interested in you, just wondering what hair product you use. It's nice. Well, you know, I mean, she said his hair was nice, so we'll forgive her. Do you just wanna meet up? This never happens, relax. Strange choice of music for this restaurant. Yeah, it's a little weird. My boy's looking a little tense. Like, real life first dates, like, you usually meet up with your boys before and then, like, you, you take shots. You're, you're, a little, you're a little bit more loose on your first date. My, my guy, he should have been a little bit more prepared. But whatever, you know, it's his first, it's his first actual date. So, that's, that's cool. Unpopular opinion, but I'm not really a fan of EDM music. Me neither. Me neither. Uh, some of it is cool, but... Drake, baby. You know, it all sounds so repetitive. I feel like every Chainsmokers song sounds exactly the same. Totally. <laughs> I think the Chainsmokers are cool, though. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. So, are you hungry? Uh, not really. I actually had another dinner date right before this with a different match. <sighs> you know... <laughs> I get what he was going for, but my boy, like, yo, you need to build a little bit more, a little bit more rapport before you throw that joke around. Like, you know, girls are a little sensitive. Girls are sensitive, I find, in my experience. So, you just need to. She's not gonna take that well. I'm, I'm being sarcastic. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was, that was dumb. No, no, that was funny. <laughs> She's pissed. It was funny. Did you have any trouble getting here? No, no, it was easy. I, I live like five minutes away. 
five minutes. If this works out, you know, my boy could actually just get back to her place that night, tonight. We're gonna root for him. Where do you live? I live with my parents. Oh. <laughs> That's the dagger right there. I live with my parents too, so <laughs> I know I know what it's like when you drop that, but <laughs> I don't know. He he should have said it with a little bit more confidence. You know, Cameron, we're gonna we're gonna grow with Cameron, man. You know, I want him to win. I'm being serious. Quite a long face. You gotta you gotta embrace it. You gotta embrace it. You gotta say, I live with my parents, but that's because I'm working on an app who's gonna change the world. And she's gonna be like, oh my end, but you know, my, my guy didn't think about this. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh. Her p is so dry right now. She's like, ugh. Ugh. She's like, she's one step away from calling her friend to say that she has an emergency. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought that you were being sarcastic. Ugh. <laughs> so, this is rough. This is rough. This is not going well. Right, yeah, that would make sense. Uh, but no. I don't think living with your parents is funny. It's smart. If anything, I mean, you're probably saving a lot of money. Here you go. So this is, this is good. Usually when a girl says, you know, it's smart and you're saving a lot of money, this is like the Michael B. Jordan treatment. Like, if she's into you, she's gonna be like, oh, no, I, I think it's great. You're, you're saving money. This is smart. Only if she's into you, so... I guess she's kind of feeling him a bit, but we never, we never really know. Let's find out. Watch out, the plates are hot. Thank you. How is everything? I don't know, you just gave it to us. It's probably gonna check in every five minutes. I hate that. <laughs> I know. You do? Yeah, you told me over attentive waiters are your biggest pet peeve? Um, no, I didn't. Uh, yeah, you messaged me that the other day? I think you might be confusing me with another girl. She jumped to conclusions like right away. Maybe it was like a friend who messaged him that. Like she's, man, she's not, she's not pleased. No, I, I think that was you. Oh, how is everything? Great. Uh, where's your restroom? There it is. She's calling the friend right away. Like, oh man, this is a disaster. How's it going? Do you like him? Should I book a wedding venue? Slow down, Wendy. The only thing we have clicked on so far is a mutual hatred for the chain smokers. You don't like the chain smokers? You thought I did? I don't know, but you should probably look over that profile I made for you. It doesn't even matter. He just confused me with another girl on the app. Allegedly, okay? We don't know that. Like, man, this is... Fuck, I'm stressed because I want my guy to win, but... The communication, like, the, the communication is not there. He did what? Oh, hell no. Get out of there. Are you sure? It could just be an honest mistake. Uh-uh. Okay, so she's coming around and she's probably, she was about to give him the benefit of the doubt, but the friend already swooped in there and she's already telling her like, you need to get out. And whenever the friend gets involved, like, you know, you have no shot. Like, whatever the friend says goes. So, I don't know, man. We're not, Cameron's, Cameron's bombing right now. He's just one of those guys who's losing track because he's juggling multiple women with no regard for anyone but himself. Cameron is not juggling anything. We've seen it, you know. My, oh, he's a good guy. Oh my God, he got caught up in the rapture. If he can't even give you 100% of his attention over dinner, then he doesn't even deserve you at all. I'm on my way. Wendy, wait, I, I don't... They, they just need to talk this out, man. Fucking Melissa over here is losing her mind. Fuck. Uh, where's your restroom? She definitely told me. Oh, yeah. 
So much for hitting the chain smokers. Yo, she could have she could have read her profile at least, like, man. That's like sloppy on her part. Like, come on, at least know who you are on the app. It's not good. See, this is why I like the show. This is such a 2019 bullshit social media drama. Like, you guys clearly saw that, like, he wasn't swiping, right? He just looked at his phone, and then it just happened to have a match on the screen. Like, clearly from, like, the previous time he was swiping. And he just happened to look, and there's a match on the screen. Now, she's pissed. Now this is, like, backing up the story that her friend told her. And she's about to get my guy to boot. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm upset. Fuck. This is the worst date. Check out my other video. I'm gonna go. But, um, here's 50. She cover everything. Shout out to her, though. She covered the whole thing. She paid She paid for the for the date. That's respectable. I, I'm... I kind of like her now. I like her. I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen this being done before. No, I was planning on paying for dinner. She's a gentleman. Cameron's a gentleman. He was gonna pay. She paid before, but like he was gonna pay. Old school gentleman. I like that. How is everything? We're, We're fine. fine. You know, just because I live with my parents doesn't mean I can't afford this meal. Easy. <laughs> Easy. He's a little insecure about uh, the the living situation. Man, that, like you don't say that. <laughs> All right. He's also jumping to the conclusion. This is a mess, man. This is a mess. No, I just think that you might be better suited with one of your other matches. She basically said, oh, you should probably go talk to your other hosts. But we all know that Cameron doesn't have any other girls. Like, like, look at him. Looks like a honest, hardworking, good guy. Fucking, let's, yo, let's let my guy win here. So, it's nice to meet you, Cameron. Are you still here? messaging other matches in the middle of our date. He was not. He was not, okay? It was just a match that popped up on the screen as he was checking his phone. She thinks I'm a broke lowlife because I live with my parents. <laughs> she, she did say that. Oh my god. This is like, this is why relationships are complicated because there's always like two sides to the story, right? And like, it's always like based on someone else, like on your perception of, of what's happening. And like, we could see that she's pissed that he apparently, allegedly, was messaging other girls. He's pissed because she, he thinks that she's judging him based on his living arrangement, and that's not the case. Screw, Screw online, online dating. dating. The guys are too entitled. The girls are too picky. Too fake. Too judgmental. I, I need to meet somebody someone in real life. life. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> if you want to abandon the apps and meet people out in the wild, you're gonna need my help. How are you gonna help me? Well... It's not so much a question of how, but rather a question of where. I've concluded there are a total of four places. Places of inebriation, errands, enrichment, and work. But be warned, each comes with its own unique challenges. It is no walk in the park. Although, a park would be a good place to meet someone, but that'd go under errands. So you want to meet someone outside of college, but it still needs to resemble college. Right. Somewhere where there's a lot of people my age. In close proximity. Who know how to have fun, but loose. With the help of hard alcohol. I know just the place. A little cliffhanger here. I'm, I like it. I'm invested. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> you guys can see. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I didn't know you guys could see the hole in my pants, but whatever, man. You know, it's aesthetic. A little crotch shot, whatever. It's cool. Thank you for tuning in, and um, I'll, I'll be seeing you guys, I guess, next week because the next episode comes out on Wednesday, so I'll watch it and I'll just react to, to it as well. And um, yeah, we'll see what this show goes. I like it. You know, it looks, it's, it's fun and it's relatable. So, peace.